Welcome to Sports Doctor. Sports Doctor is a live presentation, so we encourage you to call into the show and ask your questions on injury, rehab, training, or technique. We'll be taking your calls shortly. Call 767-8884 for your direct line to Sports Doctor. Here's your host for tonight's program, medical reporter Joe Chapana. Good evening and thank you for joining us for another edition of Sports Doctor brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center in Sicklerville, Woodbury and Berlin and coming very soon to Washington Township. We're here every other Thursday night live helping you get back into your game or if you're not into an athlete just helping you get better. And uh, we are brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center. They're offering free evaluations for the next two weeks. We're going to give you the numbers to schedule that appointment at the end of the program. But uh, tonight we are going to be talking about arthritis and injuries of the hip. We'll deal with hip and knee replacements. We'll take your calls as well. And with us tonight to answer your questions about arthritis and injuries of the hip, we have Dr. Loli Puri, who is a, an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in artificial hip and knee replacement. Dr. Puri practices with spine, bone, and joint specialist orthopedic surgery in Woodbury and Center City, Philadelphia. To his right, we have Dave Anselmo, who is a physical therapist with Cross Keys Physical Therapy. And welcome to the program, gentlemen. And Dave, we're going to start with you. Uh, give us a brief anatomy of the hip and knee. Sure. First, let's go through. This is, a, this is actually the hip here. It's the pelvis. And this is the hip joint where it goes right here. And this is the acetabulum, as you can see right there. This is a true ball and socket joint. As if I pull this up, and this just shows you where the femur goes into that acetabulum right there. Okay, and so this is the ligament that goes around here, the joint capsule. You see how very difficult it is to get it out. It's a very stable joint. And this is the femur. It's the head of the femur, the neck of the femur, the greater trochanter right here, the lesser trochanter, which is right here. And this is actually where the bursa sac would be, which you hear a lot about bursitis in the hip. And this is the shaft of the femur. As we come down, if you look at the hip like this, as you come down, this comes down into the shaft of the femur and it comes into the knee joint. And so this is the femur here. As you come down here, this is the tibia, this is the fibula over here, and as we open this up a little bit here, this is the patella, the superior patella tendon, which is the top, inferior patella tendon right here, this is the lateral collateral ligament, turn it immediately, this is the medial collateral ligament, and now we'll go inside the knee, we'll talk about the lateral meniscus, the medial meniscus, this one right here is the anterior cruciate ligament. As we turn the knee around a little bit, this is the posterior cruciate ligament right there. So the hip bone is connected to the knee bone, correct? That's right. You, <laughs> <laughs> now what about hip and knee arthritis, Dr. Pori? What causes that? Uh, well, a number of different things can cause arthritis. Generally speaking, uh, osteoarthritis, which is the main type of arthritis that we'll probably concentrate on today, is due to wear and tear. Uh, the older that people get, Mother Nature basically causes the joints to erode. And if you look at any type of joint, on the surface of the bone is this nice uh, glistening surface, and that's cartilage. And as people get older and as they continue to load their joint while they walk, the cartilage wears out, and eventually you go from a knee that looks like this, nice smooth surfaces, to a knee that starts to look like this. And as you can see, there's a lot of craters and potholes. And eventually, bone starts rubbing against bone, and that's what causes pain. Just, a, I guess, a, a general um, erosion process. What are some symptoms? How, do, how does someone know that they have arthritis? The two biggest symptoms of arthritis are generally pain and stiffness. Those are the two things that go hand in hand. Now, patients often complain of pain, and in the younger population, that, and even in the older population, that doesn't mean that you have arthritis. But uh, it could be a number of different problems going on. But generally speaking, if you do have arthritis, you'll have pain and you'll have stiffness. Now, we're talking about older individuals. What, what age typically might someone see symptoms of arthritis? Arthritis that happens naturally is usually in patients who are older than 50. 
Now that's a general rule and there's obviously exceptions to that rule. Uh, patients who tend to have done a lot of manual labor in their lives, they are at increased risk for arthritis and it certainly could happen at a younger age. But most patients who have arthritis who are under that age have other reasons, like they had an injury to that joint or something else that happened that caused an early onset of arthritis. So injuries to the knee or hip can actually lead, lead to arthritis? Absolutely. Anything that causes the joint not to function properly can cause arthritis. So in, an injury to the cartilage on the surface of the hip, whether it be a, a, in a motor vehicle accident or a mm -hmm. twisting injury or even in the knee, anything that causes abnormal mechanics of the joint or loading of the joint can accelerate the arthritic process. Okay, you are watching Sports Doctor. We're brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center. Sicklerville, Woodbury, and Berlin. We're talking about arthritis and injuries of the hip. Also want to talk about uh, hip and knee replacements tonight. Want to take your calls as well. And uh, we want to uh, have you take advantage of the free evaluation offer from Cross Keys Physical Therapy uh, Sports Medicine Center. And uh, to do that, we're going to give you numbers at the end of the program to schedule an appointment. But Dave, why is the evaluation so important? Well, I think the evaluation is very important because as a physical therapist, we like to we look at the things that the patient comes in with, the injuries, what the limitations are, and we can easily treat the symptoms. But during the evaluation, I think it's very important as a physical therapist that we find out what's causing the problem to occur because we can treat the symptoms all we want and we'll get rid of them, but the symptoms will come back unless we find out what really caused the problem to occur. For example, the patient might have poor body mechanics in lifting or a pitcher might have poor body mechanics in throwing. We'll get rid of the symptoms, but unless we address the, the reason why they had it, um, then we're really not helping the patient. Okay. Uh, injuries of the hip, arthritis, uh, also hip and knee replacements tonight. Our topic tonight on Sports Doctor, maybe you suspect arthritis of the hip or knee. Maybe you suspect you may need a hip or knee replacement. Maybe you've had one. Maybe you want some more information. Let's open up the lines right now. Toll free, we're available 1-888-634-7488. We also have a local number for you at 856-767-8884. And if you care to email your question to us, we'll take them as well. Our email address is w WPSJTV at AOL.com. Again, to answer your questions tonight, Dave Anselmo, a physical therapist with Cross Keys Physical Therapy, and also Dr. Lolit Puri, who is an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in artificial hip and knee replacement. Before we get into the uh, replacement, let's talk about some uh, non-operative treatments for knee arthritis. Dr. Puri, uh, what would they be? Well, there's a number of different ways to treat the pain and the stiffness from arthritis. There's really no way that we know of today to cure arthritis. Uh, however, to control the pain, one of the best things that we do is use medications that are in a class called anti-inflammatories. And everybody's heard of aspirin, and aspirin is a type of anti-inflammatory. Uh, some of the newer ones <clears throat> are pretty much the same or in the same family as aspirin. What the anti-inflammatories do is they actually cause or decrease the amount of inflammation in the knee and as a result of that patients get relief from the pain. Uh, because they're pain free they're able to move more and overcome some of the stiffness that happens with arthritis. That's one of the first lines of treatment that we use. Okay before we get to the uh, surgical procedures let's take a call. We have uh, Joanne on the line from Marlton. Joanne are you there? Yes. Joanne welcome to Sports Doctor. Uh, your question tonight. Um, yes I have a vast necrosis of the um of my hip. I had a cord decompression done five years ago, and I was just diagnosed with a vast necrosis of my knee um, and my patella. Um, can I do cord decompression of that, of the knee? Uh, cord decompression is generally a procedure that's reserved for the hip in your particular case. However, it can be done in the knee, and the idea behind it is the same if it's performed in the knee. The idea in avascular necrosis of doing cord decompression is to alleviate the pressure inside of the joint. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's a type of uh, disease that affects younger patients and eventually in patients who have avascular necrosis, they can go on to have arthritis because of the avascular necrosis. Uh, so getting back to your question, yes, it, it can be done in the knee. It's actually a little bit less involved uh, it's not a very commonly done procedure in the knee, so the results are often mixed, meaning we can't really tell you how well you'll do. 
Okay, Joanne, thank you for watching. Thank you for the call. Again, we'll have the number at the end of the program to schedule a free evaluation from Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center. You're watching Sports Doctor. Our number is 1-888-634-7488, locally 856-767-8884. Email is WPSJTV at AOL.com. We have Dr. Puri with us and also Dave Anselmo. We're talking about hip and knee replacement, arthritis of the hip and knee. We'll come back with more of your questions and more of our program right after this. Hi, I'm Kevin Ross from the Kansas City Chiefs. When I need physical therapy, I chose Cross Keys Physical Therapy, one of the leading rehab centers in South Jersey. Cross Keys Physical Therapy offers aquatic therapy programs that will help you strengthen weak muscles and improve your flexibility. Our highly skilled physical and occupational therapists are experienced with working with athletes and non-athletes alike. So if you need to get back to work or back to play, Cross, Cross Keys Physical, physical Therapy. Sickleville, Woodbury, and Berlin. Imagination. It may be the most precious of natural resources. To a child, playtime is a rehearsal for the real life they will one day inherit from us. How will they handle the challenges? What choices do they make? Who do they pretend to be? Love that part of your child that longs to daydream. Don't underestimate the power of play. Welcome back to Sports Doctor, brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center, Sicklerville, Woodbury, and Berlin, coming very soon to Washington Township. I'm Joe Chapana. We are live. We're with Dr. Lalit Puri, who is an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in artificial hip and knee replacement, and also Dave Anselmo, a physical therapist with Cross Keys Physical Therapy. Uh, numbers to reach us with your questions tonight, 1-888-634-7488, locally 856-767-8884. We're going to Mount Holly. I believe Emil is on the line. Emil, are you there? Yes, I am. Emil, your question tonight on Sports Doctor. Uh, I actually hurt my knee not too long ago, uh, probably about two weeks ago. I f fell off of um, uh, like a small ladder and landed. It was only like a three-foot drop. Mm -hmm. And when I landed, uh, I felt a little weird sensation in the inside of my knee sweeping around the front of the kneecap. I actually did this same kind of injury to my right knee about three years ago, and I ended up having torn meniscus. I was wondering if this is the same injury. Well, it's difficult to make that diagnosis over the TV, but what is that? Does the symptom sound like it could be that or something else? Certainly. Uh, Emil, how old are you? I'm 36. 36. Uh, you're certainly in that age group of patients who are active and healthy who can have a twisting injury or an injury that causes a blow to the knee that could cause a meniscal tear. And, and Dave pointed out what the meniscus is. It's basically the shock absorber of the knee, and you can tear it in any type of injury. So what I would recommend is that you do have it further evaluated. And don't forget, Cross Keys Physical Therapy is offering free evaluations for the next two weeks. We will give you those numbers at the end of the program to schedule that appointment. But uh, right now, if you have a question, you'd like to talk to us live, you may do so at 1-888-634-7488, locally 856-767-8884. We just uh, hit on some non-operative treatments for knee arthritis. Dr. Puri, what are some operative treatments? Well depending on how bad one's arthritis becomes and how bad the pain becomes and the disability becomes there are surgical treatments ranging from more conservative treatment like an arthroscopic surgery of the knee to more aggressive treatments depending on how bad the arthritis gets which would mean some type of artificial joint replacement whether it be a full replacement or half of a replacement and this is you do a lot of these um, who is a candidate for um knee replacement? Generally, knee replacement surgery is reserved for patients who have severe arthritis of the knee and who are severely disabled because of the arthritis. So what I tell my patients is when you have arthritis and the pain after being treated with medications and conservative therapies is still so bad that it's interfering with your ability to be a happy person, that's when I think you're a candidate for a knee replacement. The goal of a knee replacement is to alleviate the pain 
and allow the patient to get back to all the things that they enjoy doing, whether that be recreational sports or walking in the park with their grandchildren, things like that. So you can resume, resume normal activities after the knee replacement? The goal is to have patients resume normal activity. Now, uh, I don't think that normal activity would mean running a marathon or downhill skiing, things like that, but certainly patients who have had hip or knee replacements are very active, continue to engage in sports like doubles tennis, uh, cross-country skiing, things like that. Okay, back to the phone lines we go. one 888 We have Monty on the line from Gloucester. Monty, how you doing tonight? Fine. I have a question for you. Uh, all these vitamins they have to help build the ligaments in your knee, the vitamins, like it's glycerin or something. Ooh. Does that Ooh, really work? Because I'm a runner and I really would be. Like, no, I am not wasting my time. Chondroitin and glucosamine, I believe, is what you have. Glucosamine is one of the brand names, and it's made up of something called chondroitin. And what it is, is it's a medication that is, tries to reconstitute what this cartilaginous surface is made of. And the idea behind it is that if patients are able to take it by mouth, that it could eventually build up the cartilage. Uh, now, we don't have any long-term studies available to validate how good it does or how good it seems to work. However, there are early reports that patients who do use it seem to get some relief of their pain. Now, it does not help to build back up the cartilage, but it, for some reason, does seem to alleviate the pain in a group of patients. Does it, does it do anything bad? Are there any adverse side effects at this point? At this point? point, the one thing that we do think is that it does not cause any problems. Uh, but it's still not used in, in that widespread, and, and there's a lot of things we don't know about it. So I would use it with caution. Okay, let's talk about aquatic therapy and the uh, treatment of uh, arthritis in the knee. Dave, I know uh, aquatic therapy is offered in uh, your Woodbury location at Cross Keys uh, Physical uh, Therapy. What, what are the advantages of that? Well, I like to use aquatic therapy very commonly, especially with arthritis patients, because as Dr. Perry nicely explained, it is a compressive type injury where you have an injury to the, the cartilage, and obviously inflammation forms there. So putting the patient in the water, which is between 88 degrees and 94 degrees, has very good benefits. First of all, it increases the blood flow into the joint. So you're gonna to help to move out the swelling and edema right away. Second of all, you, we take advantage of the buoyancy, which is gonna take away the compressive forces of the joint. So it allows the therapists, which are in the pool with you, to educate the patient in what exercise to do and to get the patient started very early on a strengthening program in the water because you're not having the compressive forces and you're able to strengthen the muscles a lot earlier as opposed to what you, you can do on land. Okay, and again, aquatic therapy offered at the Woodbury location of Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center, and also will be offered in your new center in Washington Township, right. which is coming very soon. Uh, you are watching Sports Doctor. We're talking about arthritis and injuries of the hip, also hip and knee replacement. Uh, on the line with us, Kurt from Williamstown. Kurt, welcome to Sports Doctor. How are you doing tonight? Good. Your question? Uh, I was, I'm 38 years old. I used to be a power lifter. I still weigh lift uh, regularly, pretty heavy. Uh, diagnosed with arthritis in the hips. In the, uh, it wasn't real bad, um, in, uh, according to the x-rays. Mainly I feel in the uh, adductors. I was wondering if the continued lifting would actually accelerate the arthritis. Power lifting the pain worse. and arthritis of the hip, is there a connection? Uh, power lifting does put a tremendous amount of stress across the hip and the knee joint. Uh, and if it's something that you feel passionate about and you like to do, I wouldn't discourage you from doing it. But, but I do think that it would accelerate your arthritis. I do think that there's a chance that that would happen. How fast it would accelerate it, no one can really tell. Is there anything uh, someone like this could take or uh, something they could do to delay the arthritis? Well, there's really nothing they could do to delay the actual process of arthritis happening if they continue to lift. The one thing that they could do is to take anti-inflammatory medications under a, a physician's prescription or under their supervision to alleviate some of the pain and the stiffness. Mm. And there are certainly some modalities, some stretching and some exercises that physical therapists like Dave can teach the patient to help alleviate the pain and keep their ability to be limber and have motion in the hip and the knee. Seems like a, seems like a common complaint because I, I think we had a guest on the show not that long ago who actually was a powerlifter and he was having problems with the hips. That's correct. It's very difficult because 
the key thing is he's doing heavyweight. So it's the, once again, it's really hard to stop the heavyweight, the compression force that comes down on. There's really not too much you could do to stop that pressure on the hip because he's doing such heavy weight. But there's things like flexibility exercises and, and other type of uh, stretching things you could do to help prevent it from getting stiff and so on and so forth. Especially, like he said, if he has a, has a passion to do it, I recommend you continue to do it, but it will eventually affect you in the long run. <laughs> Sounds like someone that could probably take advantage of the free evaluation offer at Cross Keys Physical Therapy. We're going to give you the numbers to schedule those at the end of the program. Right now, a caller for Pensalkin. I believe the caller's name is Jim. And Jim is a girl. Yes. Is, is that right? Yes. Hi, how are you? Yes, my name is Jemima. Okay, Jemima, gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm 45 years old, and I've had both knees broken. I also have my, my elbows, the plateau torn, and I just wanted to know what my chance is. Will I just have to replace them later on in life? Uh, someone with uh, two broken knees, was it? Is, is, is she likely to be a candidate for arthritis? Uh, you know, without knowing exactly what injuries she's had, uh, it's unclear. Uh, the one thing I do want to uh, repeat, and I mentioned this before, is that if patients who have arthritis have a tremendous amount of pain and are unable to lead normal lives or un unable to do the activities that they enjoy doing, that's when it's time to think about having a knee replacement. Okay, thank you for the call. Again, uh, we'll give you the numbers for the free evaluation offer at the end of the program. Uh, we have two callers on the line. We're going to get to Sharon. Uh, we're going to take a break and come back with BJ. Let's get to Sharon right now. Sharon, are you there? Hi, yes. Um, I don't have arthritis, but I do have psoriasis, which causes severe joint pain in my knees also. And I wanted to know if there's some type of medication or therapy that would alleviate the pain that is similar to the arthritis. Dr. Pori? Uh, psoriasis is a uh, condition that can often cause arthritis secondarily in the knees. Uh, and I think that it's important that if you do have psoriasis and you have knee pain, that you do seek the care uh, of a physician. Uh, and I think that uh, your family doctor would be able to help you find someone who could manage the pain. I think in someone, uh, you, you sound like you're young, and I think that uh, uh, certainly some types of therapy and some types of aquatic exercises can help you, number one, alleviate your pain and keep your mobility so that you can continue to do the things that you enjoy doing and remain as active as you can. Sharon, thank you for the call. Thank you for watching. It's Sports Doctor brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center. Sicklerville, Woodbury, and Berlin. We're taking a short break. We're coming back with more of your questions. We're talking about injuries to the hip and also knee and hip arthritis and hip and knee replacements. More of Sports Doctor right after this. Hi, I'm Kevin Ross from the Kansas City Chiefs. When I need physical therapy, I chose Cross Keys Physical Therapy, one of the leading rehab centers in South Jersey. Cross Keys Physical Therapy offers aquatic therapy programs that will help you strengthen weak muscles and improve your flexibility. Our highly skilled physical and occupational therapists are experienced with working with athletes and non-athletes alike. So if you need to get back to work or back to play, Cross, Cross Keys Physical, physical Therapy. Sickleville, Woodbury, and Berlin. Welcome back to Sports Doctor. Joe Chapana here. We're with Dr. Lolit Puri and also Dave Anselmo. Dr. Puri uh, practices with primary and revision total joint surgery. Uh, 
are actually uh, spine, bone, and joint specialist orthopedic surgery in Woodbury in Center City, Philly. And uh, he's available for your questions at 1-888-634-7488. Uh, we've been talking about uh, hip and knee arthritis and also hip and knee replacements. Uh, primarily concentrating on the knee at this point, uh, let's talk about hip arthritis for uh, a second there, Dr. Puri. How, how do you know if you have uh, hip arthritis? Uh, once again, the two biggest symptoms that patients complain of with arthritis are pain and stiffness. Now in the hip it's sometimes a little trickier because oftentimes patients who have back pain feel like the pain is actually in the hip and it turns out that the pain is actually in the back. Vice versa, some patients who feel like they're having back pain are actually experiencing pain from arthritis in the hip. So I think that uh, that's something to keep in mind and uh, being evaluated by your, your physician is something that's important if you're experiencing either of the two symptoms. Okay, we've got about two minutes left in the program. We've got a caller on the line from Sicklerville. Michael, are you there? Yes, I am. Michael, thanks for watching. Your question for Dr. Puri? Yeah, I had a knee, a knee refusion and now my hip is bothering me. Would that be a good candidate for hip replacement? You had a knee fusion? A knee fusion, I believe you said, so. yes. Uh, Oftentimes, in patients who have had a knee fused, which means it's been surgically made to be stiff on purpose to alleviate pain, uh, another joint is affected more. So that if you can't walk normally because of your knee, your hip gets overloaded. So depending on what is actually going on in your hip, uh, you, you certainly might be a candidate for some type of therapy. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you have arthritis. You might have some muscle weakness or, or some pain due to overuse. And that's certainly something that could be managed without having to think about any surgeries. So I think once again, to be evaluated would be the proper thing in your case. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna have time for Madeline and Violin. I think, uh, what, what, is it Evelyn? Do you think we'll have time? We only have a minute. Okay, quick, what's your question, Evelyn? Um, I've had arthritis now in my knee for a while. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been exercising since November, but I, have, I don't feel that it's been doing me any good. And sometimes when I go to bend over, I fall over because of the weakness in that knee. Um, what do you think it's... Uh, you know what, we're not going to have time to answer that. I'm sorry, Evelyn. Hang on the line that we'll talk to you all there after the program. I want to give out the numbers for uh, Cross Keys Physical Therapy because a lot of people are interested in that free evaluation offer, which is available for the next two weeks. To take advantage of that, what you have to do is simply schedule an appointment. And you can do so by calling the Sicklerville office at 856-728-1900. Woodbury, it is 856-853-0988. And Berlin, it is 856-719-8111. They're coming soon to Washington Township. Got to thank Dr. Loli Poole for being our guest uh, this evening. Again, uh, he practices with spine, bone, and joint specialist orthopedic surgery in Woodbury and Center City, Philadelphia. We are back in two weeks. Uh, please join us then Thursday night at 9 for another edition of Sports Doctor, brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center. Until then, I'm Joe Chapana. Stay well.